Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 4th, 2016, and yes, we are back, and we are going to be even more controversial than we were before. And we're going to pick up right where we left off four weeks ago, talking about the sun simulator. Yes, folks, I'm going to say it again. The sun in our sky is fake, and we are being deceived. The deception is real. And let's take a look at these photographs before we get into some hard core evidence showing possibly some of the mechanics of this sun simulator. Now let's take a look at these photographs because the lighting of the sun just doesn't even look right. It looks entirely too artificial. It looks too crisp, too clean like it was manufactured. And those photographs are coming from the International Space Station. Beautiful photographs, if they were real. And now we know they're not. You can just tell by photographing the sun because it does not illuminate all the way around. It illuminates almost like that of a lighthouse. And that's what we're comparing it to. Now, we're going to stop for just one moment here and take a look at these photographs that a man sent us. And when I opened up this email, I fell on the floor. Just fell on the floor, had to pick myself back up because I was looking at what is that shape? I mean, honestly, it looks like the star on the top of my Christmas tree. So... If the sun is a natural object, how can it have an artificial shape? Yeah, answer that question. Somebody please answer me that question. It is impossible for the sun to have that kind of shape if something was not in front of it creating illumination onto this earth. Now let's get into the mechanics of this device that were captured on film. I want you to pay very close attention to the lenses that you are seeing on your screen. These were captured on an FAA weather cam, Alaska, USA. What do those look like, people? They look like man-made lenses. My hypothesis is, as such, I believe there are eight large lenses that rotate around in a circular pattern and the thicknesses of these lenses are related to the energy of the sun as the earth rotates. Meaning, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the sun is not going to be as strong as it would be at 12 noon and vice versa, as the sun would be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it wouldn't be as strong as it would be at 6 p.m. Catching my drift? Okay, stay with me. Now let's back the truck up. Look at the top of the screen. Do you not see a lens with a fine lip around it? Oh, wait a minute. Is it a lens flare? Oh, hell no, it's not a lens flare. That's a mechanical device. Look. At the photograph, to the right, that is a mechanical, man-made device. And at this point in time, I think possibly this sun simulator malfunctioned. Look at the device network of objects in the photograph. These are not natural. These are man-made. Look at the photographs. We have been deceived for so long. That is why your skin burns to hell when you're outside too long. You could literally feel the power of this sun simulator concentrating the sun onto your skin as if it were coming through a magnifying glass. And it is because those are large magnifying lenses to heat this earth. 
and you say, my dear sir, why would you make such a dumb statement like that? Why would they need to do that? Well, I'll tell you why. First and foremost, I think it was a cloaking device meant to blind us with sunlight so we were not able to see these planetary bodies as they came in for their approach. Well, that didn't work, did it? Because now we see them. Now, secondly, the sun simulator, yes, it's meant to heat the earth. It's doing one hell of a job. It's baking the earth. Why? Well, the brown dwarf star is draining energy from the sun. We've discussed this before. It is causing the sun to go dim for one hour every day. This has been going on for over 190 days this year already. And the reason we are seeing these planets so illuminated is because the sun is baking those planets. Several of those planets are gas giants and they will illuminate. And you can guarantee that brown dwarf star that's in the distance near the sun. Yeah, you can guarantee it's not brown. It's probably lit up like the 4th of July. And we will be able to see it. We may be seeing it in some of our photographs now and possibly not even know it. So, anywho... I think we should all be on the same page when it comes to this governmental sun simulator. That much is a fact. Anyways, I want to get down to some subscriber video. Check this out. Bring it back. There's the sun. Going down. And... Look at that, fella. It's not the moon. Look at what time it is. The moon doesn't set. Not like that. Not in that amount of time. One more time. Sun down. And bickety bam. Hi. Well, I don't know about you folks, but that planet took a dive. And the planets in the Nemesis solar system are on a very sharp, diagonal, elliptical, whatever you want to call it, orbit. Some of the photographs scrolling across your screen have been sent in by our faithful and loyal Nibiru watchers, and they're mind-blowing. You folks come up with the best. And I just want to say this. I do want to thank everyone for all of the heartfelt emails pertaining to our YouTube channel. And I feel like I represent every single loyal subscriber to this YouTube channel. You know, whenever I was a young boy and my mom was cracking me in the butt with that wooden spoon, she always told me that you would be somebody. But I never thought in a million years that I would be leading the world into battle. And basically, folks, that's what we are doing. We are going into battle. I want to give a quick thank you out to Steve Olson, Wayne Steiger, Jake Riley over there at WSO. Now, I've mentioned to you folks before, this is a fantastic, very scientific and informative YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed to Steve's channel, get over there today, right now, tomorrow, and subscribe. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.